Hello there and welcome to my guide for painting the Marvel Crisis Protocol, the Blob and Pyro set. First thing I've done is sprayed them with some matte white spray from Colorforge. I'm going to start with Pyro and I'm going to start with his yellow. So I'm going to use some Contrast Yandan Yellow for that. I'm going to give it a couple of coats so we've got a nice deep yellow and a nice base to start with. Remember with contrast paints uh, a little bit goes a long way so you don't need to overload your brush and you can get quite a lot of mileage out of just uh, one small bit. Well the first coat dries I'm going to do the first coat of Black Templar on the blob. Um, I'm going to do a couple of coats again on the blob so make sure we've got a nice deep colour. Once the contrast paint has dried I'm going to move back to Pyro and use Avalanche Sunset just to tidy up a little bit. When doing this part, make sure you don't paint in any of the recesses. For the first highlight, I'm going to use a 50-50 mix of Avalanche Sunset and Flash Gets Yellow. This will be followed by a highlight of Flash Gets Yellow just by itself. And this will be followed by a 50-50 mix of Dawn Yellow and Flash Gets Yellow for the final highlight. Moving on to the blob, I use some Corvus Black to start highlighting the areas where muscles and bulges stick out. This was followed by a 50-50 mix of Eshin, Grey and Corvus Black. And this was followed by a final highlight of Eshin Grey just by itself. I'm going to use Mephist on Red to start painting in all the red areas on Pyro. Then I'm going to use some Blood Angels Red Contrast Paint just to go over everything, just to give it a little bit of shade and to make sure I didn't miss anywhere. While that dries, I'm going to go back to the blob. I'm going to use some Avalanche Sunset to paint all the yellow areas in. And these will then be washed with some Cassandori Yellow. While that wash dries, we'll move back to Pyro and use some Mephiston Red just to neaten up those areas. Remember to avoid the recesses so we keep that lovely shade. Then a 50-50 mix of Mephiston Red and Evil Sun Scarlet for the first highlight. Then Evil Sun Scarlet just by itself. Followed by a final highlight of a 50-50 mix of Evil Sun Scarlet and Wild Rider Red. Going back to the blob we're going to use some Avalanche Sunset just to relay what we've just washed and to tidy things up a lot. This will be followed by a 50-50 mix of Avalanche Sunset and Flash Gets Yellow. Followed by a final highlight of Flash Gets Yellow just by itself. It's then time to start working on the skin, so we're going to use Bugman's Glow on all the fleshy areas. Don't forget to include Pyro's face with this. Then everything will be given a wash with some Reitland Flesh Shade. While that shade dries, we're going to use a Baden Black to start painting the backpack on Pyro. And this will be highlighted with some Corvus Black. The flesh shade should have dried by now, so we're going to use a 50-50 mix of Bugman's Glow and Cadian Flesh Tone to start the main body of the skin. We're then going to use Cadian Flesh Tone just by itself for the main body of the colour. This is then followed by a 50-50 mix of Cadian Flesh Tone and some Kislev Flesh. And then for the final highlight we're going to use Kislev Flesh just by itself. Next I'm going to use Iron Hand Steel to paint the bracelets around his wrists. I'll then give them a wash with some Nuln Oil. Then I'll use Flash Gits Yellow to paint the little diamond on um, Pyro and I'll also paint his eyes as well. Then I'll do a 50-50 mix of Dawn Yellow and Flash Gits Yellow to again just highlight that diamond and give a little sparkle to the eyes. I'll then use Dawn Yellow to paint the flames that are coming out of his gauntlet and I'll also use that to paint his hair as well. I'll give both these areas a wash with some Cassandori Yellow. I'm then going to use the Batten Black to paint in the blob's eyes. This will be followed by some matte white. 
I'll also use the matte white to paint his teeth as well. I'll then dot his eyes with a little bit of a band black. And then I'm going to use a little bit of Nolan Oil mixed with some Lamia Medium just to uh, shade his teeth. I'm then going to use Mournfang Brown to paint his hair. I'm also going to use a little bit of Mournfang Brown as well to paint in his eyebrows. His hair will then get a wash with some Agrax Earthshade. I'm then going to use some Fire Dragon Bright to start layering in Pyro's flames on his head and his arm. Make sure when you're painting that you uh, keep a little bit of that lighter yellow at the bottom because we want to build up from light to dark. So the higher we get, the darker we get. I'm then going to use some Troll Slayer Orange to continue the trend. I'll then use Wild Rider Red to start picking out the main peaks and tips. Followed by a final highlight with some Evil Sun Scarlet. It's now time to work on the bases, so we're going to use some Dawnstone to paint all the concrete. This will then be edged highlighted with some grey sear. If you've got any metal on the base, use some Iron Hand Steel for that. Then paint the rims with some Abaddon Black. And then finally, some watered down Agrax Earthshade just to coat the entire base. Once that wash dries, you'll have a couple of fantastic models to add to your collection. Once again, Atomic Mass has done a fantastic job with these uh, characters, and I really do think they're quite a lot of fun to paint. They didn't take too long at all to paint either, rocking in about four and a half hours. These two are definitely worth adding to your collection if you're going sort of Brotherhood of Mutants. I hope you really enjoyed watching this video, and I hope it helped uh, if you follow the guide. Um, and if you did enjoy it, give me a thumbs up, give me a subscribe, and I will see you next time. Goodbye for now.